Hi, this is Dave Phillippe and we are really excited about this new release 2021 that we've come out with. You know, dealing with all this pandemic and all this other stuff, it's always good to have some good news every once in a while. We think we got some good news for you here. We've come up with some ideas and some new improvements to help make life a little bit easier. One of the things that we have done is we made some infrastructure changes. We have simplified the location of some of our vital data files. Under the FabCAD Premium folder, we have moved the autosave files underneath there. Easier to find. So if your program crashes, you can easily find that file because you know it's underneath the FabCAD Premium folder. You don't have to go searching into the user directories and go down through 15 folders to get to where you want to go. Same thing with the drawing templates. We have the drawing templates all located in one location and the library files, which would be easy to find. Those of you with older versions, you'll notice in the library files we've added the Grand Forge collection, which is part of the Architectural Iron Designs library. Another nice thing is that when it comes to moving from one release to the other, all these files just stay there and they're the same location each time. So that saves a little bit on the migration part. We've also done a lot on the actual program itself. So let me go here and fire up horizontal rail program and you'll notice that the dialog boxes are changed. They have tabs now. So you can go from one to the other. And the beauty of this is if I for instance I want to go to I hit the template tab and I want to load a template here. If all I need to do is just change the dimension I can just click draw and it takes me right to the drawing screen. So I got fewer picks and clicks I have to go through to get to where I want to go. This is really helpful when you're dealing with a fence pro fence or a gate that has a lot of finials and spindles and all that good stuff. So let me just import one of those so I can show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to import a spear and ring fence and I'll load the selected template. And you notice we have a spindle tab here and you can see it's all color coded for ease of use. So you, you click in the number of spindles you want and then you pick Spindle 1, Spindle 2, Spindle 3, and you select what you want or browse to what you need to go to. And it's all saved for the next time around. Half inch finials. Here you hear here again. You have nice graphics here showing what the, all the finials look like. Or you can browse to a specific one that you want. So the beauty is when you open this thing up and you import the template, and you can just go to draw, and then boom, you're right at it. And, and it creates your fence. For, for those of you who have older versions, the fence program also has horizontal members. So if I click on this template here and load, load that, you notice there's horizontal designs here. Also horizontal for the gate as well. Now let me show you probably one of the best features we've ever added to AutoRail. So I'm going to click on the fence program again. I'm import a template and I'm going to click open top fence and load that. So what we have here is when I click members and I click on the vertical pickets I have a choice of where I want that picket to stop. If I uncheck this it's just going to draw it like it normally does but if I want to stop at the secondary top rail I just check that and the picket will stop there. If I want to stop at the secondary bottom rail the picket would stop there. So I'll draw that so you can see it. So I'll click draw, pick a point, and you notice now you've got open top, the picket stop stops right at the web of the channel, and then down at the bottom it stops here. That's really great when you're drawing a gate and you want a kick plate. So let's go there, and I'll import a template here, and let's click an open bottom gate. So I'll just load the selected template, click draw, and boom, it'll draw the gate with an open bottom. Just like that. That's slick or what? Same thing for the top, even with curved top. So let me show you that. So let's go in here and we'll do a gate. Import a template, then we'll do an open top gate. Load the template. We'll click draw. Takes me straight to the screen. And up it comes. Just like that. We've done some neat things with stair rail program too. Let me click on that. So I'm going to import a template here. 
there and string around and load that. And you notice we've added some new boxes here, the stringer size, and also how the stringer ends at the end of the bottom riser, and also the length of the stringer in relation to the back of the post. When I click draw on this one, pick a point, you'll see that now it draws the entire stringer, stringer line, top line and bottom line, all ready to finish up detailing your stair. One nice thing about the dialog boxes is when you're when you're going to export a template, so I click import template here and then I'll, I do that so I can see what all the templates are because if I wanted to replace one of these all I do is go in here and I'll have all the templates already listed here and I can just type in. You want to type in exactly what that template name is if you're going to override it. So that's the beauty of that. Also you can resize your dialog box any way you want and it'll save that data when the next time that you open FabCAD. For those of you with older versions, we have some neat new features. So let me click on the horizontal rail here and import a template called Alternating Short Pickets. So when I load this and I go to the members to the pickets, you'll see a, an option Add Alternating Short Pickets and you put in the length and you can add finials to that too. That works great with the uh, gates if you want to do a puppy picket gate and we'll show you how that works. So I'm going to click OK here and draw it and there's the alternating short pickets. Save you a lot of time there. Now we'll go to the gate program and we'll import a template here called puppy pickets and I'll load that. And here again when you go to the members and go to uh, we got the spacing set for two inches this is we want a tight fitting and alternating short pickets 24 inches we're going to add finials and we want to be odd odd numbers so we start and end with the same picket so I'll click draw I'll move over here and I'll pick a point and it draws the gate with the short pickets is that cool or what another feature in the gate program is when I do a custom sketch for instance bring this in and I want a sloped bottom I click on this I click on the gate program and put use custom sketch and click draw select the piece right click and it draws it on a slope using the pattern I had set up before the puppy pickets Is that cool or what another feature in the stair rail program let me import the template is at the top of the stair here if I had a short piece here say 18 inches and I didn't want to post at the top here I could uncheck that and then when I draw this you get the rail without the post at the break at the top a lot of requests for that and that was part of our 2020 version another helpful tool we bring up this box here let me Let's go here and let's scale this up. Let's get a, something on the screen here in this box. See this gate here. I'll do a zoom. Zoom this gate up. Okay, when I go back to paper space and click on the viewport, you'll notice there's a new icon here. I click on that and I got my scales right here. So when I do like a half inch, it blows up the box and the gate and obviously that's too big for this sheet so let's drop it down to 3 8 looks like that'll work and then, then you're good to go the box is shaped to fit and the image is at 3 8 scale so that's a quick overview of 2021 and a few of the 2020 features if you've got an old, much older version, you can go on YouTube and type in FabCAD in whatever year you want to take a look at and see the features that came with that particular release. So you know what you're buying if you have to do a multiple year upgrade. So if you've got any other further questions, please give us a call at 800-255-9032 or email us at info at fabcad.com. Stay safe. Take care. Goodbye.